Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a lovely ultra thin Patek Philippe Calatrava automatic. This is the 5120G-001, 35 millimeters in white gold. It's part of the straight lug hobnail no guard two hand Calatrava. Calatrava family. There are several different strains of Calatrava and this one draws on the hobnail bezel straight lug profile born of the early 1970s 3520. The timepiece on my wrist is 35 millimeters in diameter. 6.8 millimeters thick, so thus ultra thin for an automatic, and then it has a universal size. Lug to lug, it measures 41.3 millimeters, which means I can recommend this watch for a wrist of any size, no matter how small. It will fit on any adult or child wrist. It's that compact. It's a traditional men's dress watch size. This isn't a unisex option. This is how dress watches for men were for much of the 20th century. The spacing between the lugs is 18 millimeters, and as you can see, this one easily slides underneath a cuff. A lovely and strong set of lugs the bezel to match. The accessories, like the watch, are ultra thin. We have a medium rectangular scale alligator leather strap, black gloss, you can see sheer side showing the layers of construction with a monotone stitch on the underside, a more conventional calf skin. There are pull tab quick release spring bars so you can easily remove the strap without using any tools and risking your skill against the finish of the lugs. You have a Patek Philippe white gold high polish spade style pin buckle and then we roll back to the case and you can see it is very simple. You have the welded lugs with all evidence of the weld joint removed by hand. This is a hand finished case. A uh, rather strong vertical high polished case band and you can see that the lugs are broken out rather remarkably as they have an ethereal grace to them. This is truly beautiful case construction and a study in minimalism. There is a pyramid style double road hobnail about the bezel and that stretches all the way around. There is a crown with a simple Calatrava cross logo atop and then a two hand dial. It is a matte white with stylized Roman numerals, including a watchmaker's Roman numeral four, simple baton style hands in black, and there is a paucity of printing, all of four words on the style. I like it. I like it even better on the reverse side, where there is considerable detail. For those who always believe that more detail, more nuance, more finishing is better, well, there's the reverse side of this case. This is caliber 240 since 1977, Patek Philippe's upscale automatic. Compared to the center rotors, it is thinner. It also gives you the convenience of an automatic with the broad case back vista, everything visible that you get with a manual wind, as the rotor itself is in the same plane as all the other bridges, and it allows the watch to be far thinner than a center rotor automatic would be. A few details, 27 joules automatic winding via 22 carat micro rotor, a gyromax style free spring balance adjusted in five positions, beating way at 21,600 vibrations per hour. Approximately 48 hour power reserve, and as you can see, there are separate bridges for the barrel, the train, the escape wheel, and of course the balance wheel itself. Handsomely executed, you have Cote de Genève across the rotor as well as the bridges. You have black polished screw heads. All screw heads are black polished and with their slots and their circumference chamfered. You can see the good effect, let's try to find the right angle. You can see there is a mirrored glossy gleaming anglage on the edge of every bridge that is true rounded hand finished chamfer that is not a mechanical milling and then you have an engine turned perlage across the base plate in two sizes small under the rotor and then larger elsewhere all of the wheels feature satin grained spokes and chamfered spokes as well as satin grained rims beautifully executed you can see it is an array of colors silver and gold and of course, the violet of the pivot jewels. It's a feast for the eye, and you can see this one was made prior to mid-2009 as it features the older Poisson de Genève or Geneva Hallmark rather than the later Patek Philippe seal. Kif shock protection, that's nothing new for Patek Philippe, but it is a beautiful, traditional, and haut de gamme micro-rotor automatic for a timepiece that is a case study in minimalist simplicity. See it and make it yours on the watch box.